Hello, welcome to Redmen TV. It's Twitter reaction time. Liverpool have lost 2-0 to Red Star Belgrade. It was a bit of shit, that one, it? Uh, don't know where to start. We'll go to our mate Ben Webb. Um, Liverpool purposely dropping points to finish second in the Champions League group. Easy draw with a little gift thinking ahead. Um, love your optimism, Ben, but I don't think that was the case. Um, from the get-go, we were just, just shite. Slow passing, looked leggy, probably tired from the Arsenal performance. You could probably question some of the uh, decisions. Matip, Sturridge, Lalana, three substitutions at once, trying to get some cohesion going, just wasn't happening. Um, Twitter is not a nice place right now, it's horrible. Uh, Lalana's not good enough anymore. Uh, Marnie's ineffective and seriously brain dead. Uh, real, lack of quick, uh, real lack of creativity in the field again. Qualifying looks harder now, but still within our reach. Uh, that's from David Newen, 241. Um, yeah, same as what I just said there, trying to put Lalana and Sturridge into a side when they've had a, a lack of game time is is a good idea, but I think we've just underestimated Red Star Belgrade from, from the get-go. Um, you know, we were talking to, to Bailey off air before, and, you know, we've been overrunning midfield in the past two, three games or against bigger bigger opposition, particularly Arsenal, uh, the two Chelsea games. We just seem to be outnumbered, and when you put storage into that attack, he doesn't give you the defensive qualities that Firmino gives you. I know Firmino's knackered as well. It must be a really hard decision. Um, but to concede two goals so early on, we just didn't react quickly enough either. Uh, Fletcher Dyer, uh, what an absolute shambles. Uh, what did we really expect from Matip and Alana? Manny and Milner extremely poor. Only a decent play with Seller. Uh, also didn't really understand why Kite and Fabinho were left on the bench. They were brought on to, to improve on midfield. Or am I wrong? Uh, bang on again. You know, the, the, the amount of change that we made. Fabinho has played a lot of football, but then you think, does that second goal, you know, he's a bit of a shit house. Is he going to just tackle someone and take someone out of the game, which Gini Van Adam didn't do, and there was six of us in here just screaming, just fucking foul him, uh, and he didn't, and it was, it was a good goal to be fair. Um, Naby Kajic just come back for an injury, you know, you would say that's a gamble if he didn't play, you know, would have been poor to go into that game, but again, I, I do get your point. Um, it's interesting to be fair, <laughs> everyone's pissed off on Twitter, but everyone's getting loads of shit, so was Salah, I didn't think Salah was particularly good, I thought Marnie was one of our better players, I thought Robertson was our better players, and Joe Gomez, when he came on, was one of our better players. But uh, there's there's a lot of fume going on. Um, <laughs> official dickhead, um, good good Twitter name. Um, I'm going to think Klopp's new tactics of not pressing, surrendering possession to every opponent, getting overrunning the field, being second to every ball, and not playing up tempo until two until down by two goals just might be inferior to Gengen pressing the high intensity Liverpool Football Club. <sighs> it's hard not to disagree with that as well. To be honest, it's a repetitive theme is the midfield and, and the press that we're doing. I don't know if we you know we played 4-2-3-1, yeah, 4-2-3-1. And that's worked a couple of times. We put Fabinho and Van Alden in deeper positions to protect the defence and, and, you know, be able to have that counter-attack. And when you're playing away, away European football, you, you know, you can't underestimate Red Star Belgrade. They play in a, in a shite league and they play shite teams week in, week out. But they must breed confidence. And that's exactly how they came out today. They weren't scared of us. Uh, and I think we underestimated them. So, you know, we can need to learn from it ultimately. And if we don't, we're going to find ourselves um, in trouble. You know, we put ourselves in a difficult position now to try and get out of this group. Obviously, it depends on how Napoli and PSG get on tonight and obviously how we get on against those two. Um, but we all wanted three points tonight, regardless of, of what was going to happen. Uh, Kenny JPCA says, they embarrassed our club tonight and all the fans that travelled should get a full refund from the club. Yeah, why not? Um, I had to disagree with that as well. <laughs> You think that going to have one goal down, you get some sort of reaction, but we missed chances as well. You go back to that story chance, should bury that, and that's, that would put us 1-0 up. The game could be very different by then. Lallana misses a diving header, which is deflected, which is really unlucky. We hit the bar twice. We hit the bar twice? Post bar? Yeah, post and bar. Uh, it, it just seems to be one of them. And every, every time we got into the box, it was like snapshots. It seemed rushed. It seemed desperate. They defended pretty well as well. I think something that no one has, has said on this yet is... You know, you kind of need to give Red Star credit as, as we were shit, but they put in a fucking performance um, and defended the lead. Might be shit house tactics at times, but, you know, Liverpool are doing that. You're quite happy with it. Uh, Lee Carter, 95, uh, just went with arrogance. Again, it's hard not to disagree with that. You can't go into these European games and think you're going to win before you turn up. I get there's a, a great atmosphere at their, their stadium. Their players, as I mentioned before, are full of confidence and they, they win pretty much every week. Um, but, you know, as I said, we needed to win that game to make the rest of the group easier. And it just seemed it just seemed desperate and rushed. 
Uh, Phil Kennedy won. That result has been coming all season. Only one or two performances have been anywhere de near decent. Uh, being found out a team that should have battered last season and Klopp should not have fought with the defence. Uh, agree with that one as well. Uh, so far this season, I've defended us because we've been playing shite and getting results, largely apart from the draws at Chelsea Arsenal, which I already mentioned, uh, and obviously losing to Napoli, but we played shite there. Um, we played shite and didn't get a result, so something needs to change. I agree, the Matic decision as well. Uh, I was, I think he was, everyone was surprised when it was announced he was playing. I, I would have gone with Lovren myself, but obviously he's not right. Um, or Gomez and Trent, even though they played football, I think it's difficult to alter a back five and put Matip in there, who's hardly played much football this season, against a side that, that if he knew they had that striker, uh, Pavkov up front, who's built like a brick shit house, he's just going to push Matip all over the place. And if you are, put Van Dijk on him to defend him. Um, and we didn't do, especially for the, the corner. I'm really surprised that we didn't put Van Dijk man marking him and they got a goal from it. Uh, and finally, Evan25227462, um, probably his phone number. Uh, it was always going to be a tough place to go, but we should be beating teams comfortably. The next two games are now must-win games and very tough teams. Only three wins out of our last nine and we're nowhere near the level we were last season, just not good enough. Can't disagree with that either. <laughs> it's just been, just been a, a terrible night, a terrible performance, uh, some strange decisions and to be beaten by a team where... You're not expected to go and win, but you expect them to give a lot more effort than we fucking did tonight. Um, and we just struggled from the get-go. We, we didn't seem to give up, but it's just, it's just seemed desperate. That's the word I'm going to come down to. He's desperate and, and rushed. Um, Klopp needs to learn quickly that some of this team doesn't work together and you can't like, make that many changes in one game for, for the three people, Storage, Matip and Alana, and then to make two substitutions at half-time sums up how desperate we were that Trent came off and stories came off because we needed to change things around, but by then it was too late. Uh, second half performance was much better, but you know we need to nil down against that team at a bit like British shit shithouses that are willing to defend for their lives. You can't expect to get a result. Um, so yeah, Twitter is pissed off. We're all pissed off. Um, but obviously have to wait and see how Napoli and PSG get on. It's not the end of the world. I know it feels like it now. Um, so we're going to go for an instant match reaction. Uh, make sure you tune into that. And then on the final word on the website tomorrow, we'll have that going in depth, trying to break it down, a bit more detail where it went wrong. The Man of the Match podcast will also be out if we can pick one person or three people that were good enough to deserve Man of the Match to Liverpool. Might even pick a Red Star player for a laugh, why not? Um, but make sure you check it out on the website. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to say uh, your Twitter comments in below, who you thought was crap, what you thought of the game, uh, and subscribe to Redman TV. Thank you.